This is just going to show how you can customize your uh, abandoned cart email a little bit on the Shopify store. So one thing you always want to do with your abandoned cart email is normally you would have it set up in an email service provider. But if you don't have the time or resources to do that, Shopify does have an option that uh, sends out uh, abandoned cart email for you. And it's a pretty generic one but you can always customize it a little bit to your brand to be a little bit more specific. So what you'd like to do is you'd go into your Shopify backend and then go into your settings by scrolling down and behind these little icons here, you'll see the, the settings and then you click your checkout button. And then once you click your checkout button, you can scroll down here to your email marketing section. And here is where you'll find your options for the abandoned cart email. Now, normally, if I was using an email service provider, I would say you would want to set your abandoned cart at three to four hours after. But Shopify only gives us the options of one, six, 10, and 24. Even though it says 10 hours is recommended, personally, I would go with the six hours instead of one hour too quick 10 being too long and six is kind of the the middle option so what you then do is go into customize email and this will bring up the email here now it looks a little bit scary in here but the one thing that you can definitely change that's nice is your subject line so for instance shopify will normally have a standard uh you left something behind it's a pretty generic, doesn't really catch your eye, not that important kind of a message. Uh, so you can always uh, customize your subject line a little bit for a more personal fit to your brand. Uh, for instance, here, the store that I'm working on is a baseball bat company. So I put, how do you hit a home run without this? So when the customer gets that email, they might kind of be a little bit more intrigued of what's this, what are they emailing me compared to you left something behind. They might not care about that. When you go down in here into the body, this looks pretty complicated, but what you can kind of pick out is uh, the, the message that is said in the email. So what you can do is, is uh, change up the message a little bit if you wanted. So it says, if item count is one, if item count is one, and this is just kind of like all the different rules. But you could change all of these where it says, hi, you added items to your cart and have completed your purchase. Uh, you can complete it now while they're still available. You could go ahead and change the text. Leave this the same here because that's going to be the first name it shows. But if you change all those texts to something a little bit more personal to your brand, so you could put hi and then it's customer's first name. You added a baseball item to my to your cart. Uh, you know, do you plan on playing baseball anytime soon? You might need this item. So that is just one quick way where you can kind of personalize your abandoned cart email a little bit more. Don't worry about touching any of the other stuff down here. That's all just uh, just stuff that you don't really need to worry about. The only thing would just would be the little bit of the message here if you want to change it. So the biggest thing is your email subject line. I would suggest make it personal to your brand. And then if you feel confident enough, you can change the text here. And if you want to preview it, you just hit preview. And if you're worried about messing something up, you can always just copy all of this, paste it in another document, you know, test around the message a little bit, hit preview a few times, make sure nothing goes wrong. And then you can uh, do a couple of test sends, even up here, and everything looks good. Then that's a very quick and easy way to kind of make your abandoned cart a little bit more personal.